Hey guys, and I'm back with another first impression. I don't know about you guys, but I really, really love these first impressions just because I feel like it's like vlogging at the same time since I take you guys with me during different times of the day to see how something lasts or something like that. And yeah, I haven't done this video. I haven't made a video since Grand Canyon, so I felt like doing this today because I finally, finally got these products because they're available at Ulta right now, which is... The One Heck of a Blot line by Soap and Glory. Is it Soap and Glory? Yes, by Soap and Glory. And I'm so flippin' excited. Um, I already tried these products, but I just didn't really focus on how well it worked. I just put it on my face and left because I was just so excited just to put it on. But um, when I did try the Happy Medium, it was way too light. So I got the Darkest Shade in Caramel. They don't have that much of a range. I, I'm pretty sure they have more online, but I'm not 100% sure. Oh my god, I'm so hungry. <sighs> but yeah, so we're going to go ahead and test these products today. I forgot her name, but she said that she absolutely loves these products. Um, Casey, oh, there you go. Casey Holmes. She tried these products and she said she absolutely loved them. And I just felt like I've been wanting to buy these, but I hate buying stuff online and then end up not liking it and having to, to return it is probably like the biggest pain in the ass. So I wanted to wait until it was available in stores and now it is so it's available at um ulta inside stores now so um the foundation i believe is 19 dollars, and the 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 primer is um 15 dollars. so i got the one heck of a blot all day liquid to powder foundation with shine block 12 hour long wear technology at super blur powders um in the shade caramel um, it says it controls shine for 12 hours, deliver flawless, full coverage, no cakiness, blur away with a blur away the appearance of pores and imperfections. It says for directions, after moisturizing, blah blah blah, use your fingers or brush to dab a few dots of one heck of a blot all day liquid to powder foundation. Uh, down the center of your forehead, nose and chin, blend centrally, and then rub any excess outward in, onto your cheeks for flawless, absolutely flawless skin. Um, but yeah, I'm just gonna do it however the hell I usually apply my foundation. <laughs> um, and then the primer um, says the same thing, um, pore shrink, Matt Spears technology. Um, it says the pore, the pore fit answer, deploy a small squeeze of one heck of a blot primer on clean skin, cleanse skin, wear it alone under or over makeup or dab on throughout the day for touch ups. And it says, instantly diminish the appearance of pores, control shine for 12 hours, make your makeup last longer, hide imperfections, even out skin tone, reduce the appearance of redness, leave you good to glow. Um, so your skin looks flawless, absolutely flawless. So, yeah, I think I'm going to put this on my face first. And the, oh wow, the, mo the second most used ingredient in this is glycerin. So I think this could replace the whole Nivea Men's um, aftershave balm. So let's go ahead and try it. And it says all skin tones at the top. And can I say the packaging is so flippin' adorable. Like, I think it's so cute. Like, so like old school, you know, with the little pink curls that she got going on and the red lips and the gray picture and all that. So... Um, looks like this. It's a pretty huge bottle, pretty darn big. Um, I believe it's like the same size as this, but this one has one U.S. fluid ounce. Oh, and this one has one U.S. fluid ounce as well, but I don't think you need that much to prime, especially, I only usually prime the center of my face. Um, I already did my eyebrows, so yeah, I had the worst time with this one today. The eyebrows were not working with me today. It was so annoying. So... Yeah, it looks like this. The packaging is so flippin' cute, and I freaking love it. And I'm gonna start with this first. I was gonna use a sponge today. I mean, a beauty blender today, but um, it's kind of ripping, and I need a new one. So I was like, eh, I'll just use a brush. I haven't used a brush in a good while, but since it's been ripping, I have I have to use a brush now. <laughs> I need a new one. So I just took this much. If you guys can see, just that much, not that, not a lot. And I'm gonna put it at the on my face and just work it in under my eyes, chin, and forehead. Um, instantly putting this on my face and working it in, it does get really tacky quick and sticky quick. I can feel it like getting like harder to rub in. It's very tacky, which is good because that holds on to your makeup. So 
that really got in there quickly. Whoa. I think this one um, gets stickier faster than the Nivea Men's Aftershave Balm. And let's see how my pores are looking. Um, they look whatevs. Same old, same old. I tried to do my blackhead removal thing last night because my skin is not popping. But, um, looks whatevs. Nothing, nothing too crazy. Um, I do feel the tackiness, so I have a feeling my foundation will probably last longer with it. But I don't notice any difference in pore-wise. I'll probably put a little bit more. It's a tiny bit more. I didn't put that much drop. That's probably why. I don't know. I don't know, I don't know. I don't know how, many, how much you need, but. Yeah. I'm filming, like, three videos today. Um, two first impressions, and then I want to do a June favorites just because I've been buying so much makeup that I finally have stuff to talk about. I'm going to rub this into my nose, massage it into my skin. That gets tacky so fast. It doesn't smell like anything. Uh, okay, that looks a, a tiny bit better. I guess like I just didn't rub it in right. I don't know. <laughs> it looks a little bit better. Um, we'll see how it blends into my skin, but so far... I don't really see a difference, um, especially if I didn't put it like where I have markings. It says it's supposed to even out skin tone, but I didn't, it doesn't look like crazy. It just looks translucent. It doesn't look like it has any color. I believe when I squeeze it out, it was just like a thick like glue. It looks like glue, <laughs> but yeah, I have nothing to say. No thoughts yet. I just love. I like the feeling of the tackiness. Um, it has no scent. And you know the, the, those sweet lemon scents that they have? It doesn't smell like that. And unfortunately, unfortunately, I'm allergic to those. Um, they're bath products. And I just scratch like crazy. But it smells amazing. If I wasn't allergic, I would probably use it every damn day. Yeah, it has no scent. So that's good. Um, it's made in Switzerland. Yay. That's cool. Um, yeah. And it's supposed to keep you matte. So... This is, this line is meant for um, oily skin. That's why it says one heck of a blot and it's supposed to be matte. So I'm just gonna shake this bad boy up. <laughs> Sounds really like liquidy. I can hear it. I don't know if you guys can hear it. <laughs> All right. And it comes with a pump. <clears throat> oh. <clears throat> I don't know where that came from, but it comes with a pump. Oh my God. I love products that come with a pump. A pump is just like, you're a 9.5 already. Let's see how good you work though. <laughs> so pumps always make me happy. It's more hygienic. It's more easy to work with. Keeps the bottle clean, keeps everything in here. Not so messy. And I don't know, pumps just help me control how much I'm going to pour out, you know? So yeah, I'm going to pour this at the back of my hand. I'm probably just gonna try one, uh, half a pump first. Half a pump. Oh, this shade looks like it would suit me, so it looks like that. Um, it's not like thick, and it's not too runny. It's like in the middle, you know. That's how much I'm gonna use first. That's half a pump. You know how you have to pump it a few times to like get it through the, the tube. That's how I feel like it's half a pump, or I go like halfway. <laughs> so. Almost dropped the thing. So I'm going to go ahead and dot this all over my face. I like to start underneath my eyes first. Because I don't wear under eye concealer anymore. And I don't care about covering this anymore. I don't care. Don't really care. It's just my cheeks, my chin, and the middle of my forehead. I'll just cover. And we'll see how good this covers. Because um, I tried... A happy medium which is the shade before this and it was way like literally way too light and that's the second darkest shade and I'm hoping that online that they have more hopefully so I'm gonna go ahead and take this brush um, it's my beige cosmetics 116 brush and I'm gonna blend that into my skin using patty motions I don't like to swipe everything I like to pat oh, that looks nice blending easily <laughs> Yo, I just got like saliva everywhere let's ignore that so I'm gonna pat this under 
my eyes because I don't care about under eye concealer anymore. Look at that. It looks flawless. That's like half a pump. So you guys know. And I'm letting you guys know, I do have scarring, but if you're like the typical person that has crazy acne, crazy scarring, your scarring might not be the same as mine. It might be a little bit darker than mine. I'm not sure if it would cover it, but this is my dark spots right here and I always have trouble covering this so if you have dark spots like the one I had on this side then it might not cover it but we'll see if it's buildable I'm not gonna try and go for full coverage today I just have class <laughs> I just have class and then I have to I wasn't supposed to go to the gym today usually Thursdays is my off days but I didn't go to the gym yesterday and I need a carb up today because tomorrow's leg day and I'm going to be vlogging my leg day with you guys at Fit Nation. If you guys don't know, I work out at Fit Nation now. Dude, this foundation is like blending out like a dream. Oh shoot. Um, I noticed it's, you guys know how I like dotted it everywhere and I started with this side. It blended out so easily and then when I was working on this side and my chin and the lower half of my face, I noticed that this side the top of my forehead kind of dried up quick I think it's because I put a really thin layer but I'm just adding it in I don't like to go crazy so I'm just gonna add a little bit more lining just so I can see it it looks really really nice actually I actually really like it um it doesn't look cakey <gasps> finished my face makeup and my eye makeup and if you guys want to know what palette I used on my eyes and what highlighters I used on my eyes as a first impression um, it should be uploaded after this video and I flip and love it I want you guys you guys, you guys have to get the stuff that I was using today on my face and on my eyes it is amazing I'm so in love with it it fulfilled my full expectations so you guys have to go see that um it would probably be up after this one but foundation wise everything blended so easily onto the foundation didn't have problems with it like like grabbing onto certain areas um I didn't powder I did set my base with the MAC fix plus and a little bit of the Tarte rainforest one but I ran out like easily like with two pumps I was like oh I need more spray so I used the MAC fix plus and so far the foundation looks good it's starting to look a little weird around my nose which is probably normal like it looks I don't know if you guys can tell but like from this angle you can see on this side it looks a little weird I don't know maybe it's just me but it's in the camera when I'm like looking from afar it looks flawless like completely flawless but if I go super close and like really look into it it looks like it's just sitting like on top of my skin I'm probably I probably should have powdered I think you need to powder with this one um, but so far we'll see how it holds up with my oiliness because if you guys don't know I have super duper oily skin so let me just zoom this in or like make it a little bit clearer so you guys can see it oh whoa nope right there this is as good as it's gonna get so it looks a little bit weird up close but from afar it looks pretty damn good pretty damn good I don't know um, it has pretty good coverage it just looks it's kind of creasing in my lap lines and it's only been like a couple minutes since I finished this but um, the coverage is good not gonna lie and it looks flawless in certain areas like my forehead right here it's just I'm having problem with my nose my nose is always the worst part because I have really bad pores and under my eyes are really dry so foundation never really sits there anyways but so far so good I don't I'm not picky with foundation I just want it to last all day <laughs> and coverage is not that big of a thing for me but it is buildable coverage so far um, I'm not gonna say it's full coverage I, I think it's medium to full coverage because it is buildable but if you have more scarring than me it me might need a little bit more than I do um, but so far it doesn't feel like I'm like wearing a lot of makeup um, it feels pretty good so I'll check in with you guys later it is 10 12 I have class at 1 so I'll do a check-in before 1 and then after class I get out I get out at 4 so um yeah I'll see you guys soon and we'll see how it lasts but this highlighter 
this highlighter and eyeshadow is like popping. So I'll see you guys soon. And yeah, awkward. Okay, bye. Hey guys, so this is my first check-in. I'm about to head out to school. Um, it's 11.45, I believe. Uh, let me just focus you guys a little bit more. Um, it's 11.45, and I am getting quite oily. I don't know if you guys can tell, um, but I am getting a little bit oily, especially... Hold on. Oh, there you go. I can see the oil on my forehead. Um, nothing on my chin yet. Um, I think, I'm trying to find the lighting though. The lighting is like insane. Um, but I mainly have oil on my forehead and right here. Um, and the highlighter is making it look a little bit more oily, but I love the highlighter. I have no complaints about the highlighter. <laughs> it's just the foundation is getting oily, if you guys can see that. So you do need to powder. I'm gonna powder. Um, it's getting oily like under my eyes, which is really weird because I never... Well, sometimes I get oily under my eyes, but usually it's pretty good under there. But it is getting oily, and I can feel the oil, like, sitting on top of my skin. Um, it's a little bit oily on my chin, but it's... Yeah, you need to powder. <laughs> um, so I'm going to powder up, and then my second check-in will be after my class, and I'll do that. And then I'm going to go to the gym. I'll probably do another check-in before I head to the gym. So I'm going to do one like around 4 and then I'm going to do one uh, probably like at 5 something and end it there. That was my speakers. But I might do one outside too, heading outside so you guys can see how it looks like in natural lighting. And yeah, so so far I'm getting pretty oily and I've only had it on for like an hour. So yeah, I think you need a powder with this one. Um, it still looks okay. doesn't look bad. doesn't look like... It's creasing or anything. It still looks good. It's just, um, it didn't smear off anywhere, but it is darn oily. If you guys can see that, that is insane. So I need to powder up. Um, and I'll check in with you guys outside and then around four and blah, blah, blah. And I'll see you guys soon. All right. Yes. So it's just the oil for now. And I'll see you guys later. Alright guys, so this is how it looks like in natural lighting. Very, very nice. Um, I powdered so it doesn't look oily, so it looks really good right now. And yeah, it looks really good in natural lighting. And now that I powdered, it looks even better. You guys didn't see in the last clip, like it was super duper oily. But I have my backpack on, heading to school, and I just wanted to give you guys an update, so it looks so much better. Um, I am oily, like right here under my eyes, but besides that, after powdering, it looks a-okay. I want to check back with you guys after class, because I'm running late, and I really want to get a protein shake. Okay, bye. Hey guys, so I... Whoa, why is it so dark? Okay, um, I just got back from school and I'm gonna focus you guys a little bit better. Um, so, oily, once again, this thing does not, this foundation does not control oil whatsoever. I don't know how I feel about the primer. I need to try the primer with another foundation, see if it works. I really like the tackiness of the primer. Um, I'm just not sure if it works with this foundation. It should work together just because they're from the same line, but... I am super duper oily if you guys can see um, all of this on my nose and right here that's highlighter but like under my eyes like you guys can see that line right there this is all oil like all oil and I, I have like I am super oily and um, some of it came off because I was I was sleeping in class okay don't don't judge me but I was sleeping in class um, and so I had my hand like this and it wiped off some so it is trans it's not transfer proof it does transfer I don't even think it says that on the foundation that if it's transfer proof or not yeah it doesn't say that it's transfer proof or anything it just says control shine for 12 hours um it's been less than 12 hours and it has not controlled shine um deliver flawless full coverage no cakiness i do agree with that um i'm not saying it's full coverage i'm saying it's medium to full coverage and it doesn't feel cakey it is buildable so i agree with that one it says it blurs blur away the appearance of pores and imperfections so 
Um, I'm not sure about the pore part either because when I really look at it, like it looks good, like all right here and my forehead, just not my nose. It's always my nose I always have a problem with though, so that's normal for me, but um, everyone's skin is different. My phone, my phone, I mean my camera keeps going out of focus, but um, I am super duper oily. Like, you guys can see the shine from far away, and it's kind of insane, but the eyeshadow has stayed on so far. Yay! Yay! So, yeah. Um, so far, this foundation is a on oiliness. If you guys have super duper oily skin like me, this foundation is not for you. Um, but since, like, it is cheap, I get it, but I feel like it should say what it does, but... Um, for the price that it is, for its coverage and everything, I would use it as just an everyday foundation. I wouldn't use it for a special occasion. It would just come right off. Um, but yeah, I wouldn't, I would still repurchase it just as an everyday foundation just because it is cheap and it has the coverage that I want. So I would use that as an everyday drugstore foundation. Um, it is a, it is a pricier drugstore foundation though. Um, but I just wish I wasn't so oily because that's what I was like so excited for because Casey Holmes was saying it was flipping amazing and she has oily skin too, but I have super duper oily skin. Um, if you guys have more pigmentation on me, it might not be as full coverage as for your skin compared to my skin because I don't have that much pigmentation anymore. I used to have crazy pigmentation, but I don't. Um, it's been going away because I've been taking care of my skin. So uh, for... For my skin type, if, you, if your skin is the same as mine, same pigmentation, it's just a slight, um, it is medium to full coverage. For um, if you have less pigmentation, of course, it's going to be completely full coverage on you because you probably have gorgeous skin already and you don't need to wear makeup. But if you have more pigmentation um, than me and it's more severe, I'm not sure if it would cover it, but it is buildable. Um, but the feel is really nice. I just hate how I'm getting so oily and I can feel the oil sitting on top of my skin and it's kind of disgusting um but so far this is the first impression that i've had that was just like Mer. you know my other first impressions i fell in love with but this one is just like Mer. i might i think i like the primer i'm not sure about the primer i feel like it should have worked i think the primer did work a little bit because i only put it on the center of my face which is probably why this part wiped off um so i'm guessing like actually it's the same throughout i don't know I don't know. The primer's like whatevs, I guess. But uh, I notice uh, the foundation is also breaking up a little bit on my forehead. I feel like if I touch it, it's just gonna swipe off. You know what? Let's test it. If you see a line, oh yeah, you see that? Do you see that? Yeah. It just completely swiped off and I'm so oily. Now I have a line across my head, but so far this foundation is whatever is if you're gonna use it every day just as like um a day where you just do errands and you don't really care how you look or how long it lasts this would be a foundation it's not, it's pretty expensive for a drugstore so might as well just go for a cheaper one but I so far it's just whatever's to me and I think I'm just gonna end it here anyways because I'm gonna work out and it's just gonna get worse so um final thoughts I wish it would stay on longer. It did not stay on for 12 hours, oil-free. Um, coverage, medium to full coverage for my type of pigmentation. If you have more, it's probably just gonna be a little bit of coverage, but it is buildable, which is really good. The first time, for first impression, when I first put it on, I actually really liked it. I liked how it looked. I liked how it didn't, I liked how it didn't feel so cakey, and you could still build it up. And um, it looked really nice when I first put it on, but now it's just starting to like, just come off like, just swipe my finger it just comes off so yeah yeah I see that it just comes right off I feel so gross I could feel like the oil on sitting on top of my skin um for the blurring effect um I think it blurred it like in this area like everywhere else but my nose and my pores on my nose are flipping huge like I have horrible like blackheads and whiteheads and it's so disgusting but um it doesn't look that great um and i just cleaned my nose yesterday with some like black spot treatment but eh, it's what it is i don't think 
I don't know, I'm not sure if I would actually repurchase the foundation, but if, it, if it's just gonna be like an everyday foundation, just for like running errands, I wouldn't mind. Um, just because I wouldn't really care that day. <laughs> um, just even out my skin tone, but I wouldn't wear it to a, an a special event. I don't think it will last, I really don't. And um, I need something that will last on me because I'm pretty darn oily. But without further ado, that is my final thoughts on the foundation. I'm not sure about the primer. Um, I like the tackiness of the primer, so I want to try it with other foundations and see how it works. And I want to try the foundation again and try it with powder from the initial start. Like, literally powder my face before I even do anything else and see how it works that way. But for today, it's whatever's. Um, next time I try it, next video, hopefully, or another video that I make, I'll update you guys on how I think about it. Or if you guys just ask me down below in the comments then I will let you know how it's going with that foundation but as of right now it's whatever to me I had high hopes for it um but yeah so without further ado I love you guys and I'll see you guys next time I did film another sort of first impression with something else that I've been wearing all day and um it's not necessarily a first impression all day it's just a first impression when I first tried it just because I feel like with products like eye products and all that stuff it doesn't matter like throughout the day I just feel like if it's blendable pigmented buttery blah 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 all that stuff then that's good enough I don't care about all day wear or whatever because you just use primer and blah but yeah so I'll see you guys next time I love you guys thank you so much for all the support all the love and for those of you who are following me on Instagram I highly appreciate all the love that you guys give me and I did get a comment about um, someone wanting me to do more fitness related videos, what I eat, and all that. Um, if you guys haven't known, I am a power lifter. They want me to be co compete in bikini, um, but I'm not sure. I was one, uh, I was 150 pounds when I was bulking. Now I'm down to 138. So, yeah. Um, I think I'm gonna do more fitness videos just because that's more of my personality. I am more into fitness. I, I still love makeup. I still love skincare. I love taking care of myself. But fitness is something where my heart belongs. I am in the gym every single goddamn day. There's not one day where I'm not in the gym. I feel depressed when I don't go. And it's just a lifestyle that I've lived for quite some time now. And I kind of want to make more videos about it. And tomorrow I have my leg day with my coworker. Um, he is a trainer as well. And tomorrow's leg day. So I'm going to be vlogging that. And I'll see you guys soon and i love you and please subscribe show some love follow me on instagram if you have any questions feel free to ask me dm me anything you like and i love you guys so much and i'll see you guys soon peace out Cross scouts bye